Shalom, Shalom, Kalayim, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Rakha, Kodash. All right. Double honors to the, the Apostle of GMS. Okay. And the elders in Israel who teach and rule well. Okay. Shalom, Waha, to the brothers and the sisters, and peace and salutation to the, to the warriors. You know, those who are going out there and really, you know, week in and week out and preaching that beautiful gospel, all right? So, it will be a quick video, all right? And you, uh, the title of that video is Repentance Breeds uh, Mercy, all right? Repentance Breed Mercy, all right? So, we're going to go straight in, you know, the words. All right, straight in the word. Act 3 and 19. All right, Act 3 and 19. And he reads, Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. All right? So, repent ye, therefore. So, before he says, you know, uh, 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 after, no, before he says, you know, that your sins may be blotted out, all right? He says this, repent ye, therefore, and be converted. All right? Obviously, we don't, we are not, you know, saved by law. Meaning, if the Most High had to look at, at your, you know, has to look at your life or your work, okay, or your walk in this truth, right, and has to justify you by your deed, which is the, uh, you keeping the commandment, you will come up short, all right, because in this flesh, in this body, we cannot keep the commandment 100%. Alright? It's impossible. That's why James 2, I believe 10, we say, if you, you know, break the least one of the law, you're breaking the whole law. Alright? Which is true. So therefore, Yahushai, in His mercy, paid us, okay, with His blood. Alright? So that's why he says as well in Revelation 12, I believe, that or 11 or 12, he says, you know, and we've, you know, have uh, overcome, okay, the dragon by the blood, all right? Meaning by the fact that Yahweh Shad have already purchased us, purchased us, right? It's like, yeah, my friend, sometimes I pronounce it were differently different sound purchase us both us all right from the the, 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 the captivity from you know a uh, 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 hell you go from 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 per, uh, 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 perpetual or eternal damnation all right but nevertheless we are under a god who is a judge so to please God, you're going to have not to um, keep the commandment 100% because you cannot keep the commandment, but you will have to rehearse the commandment. And we're going to read the precept that you know about, okay, about the rehearsal, okay. But before we carry on, I'll read the Act 3 and 19 again. Say, repent ye therefore. So you have to repent and be converted for your sins to be blown out. You got to try. You, you got to... See, the angel, uh, you know, when because angels are around us and they see what we're doing, they have to see that, the, you know, even when you sin, you have to be very remorseful. You don't sit on your sin and think that it's okay and try to, you know, <laughs> try to, uh, how can I say that? Justify your sins. It's a very dangerous thing to justify your sins. And what it is, is when 
you don't look yourself in the mirror and when you don't accept that you are wicked and that you have to change and when you don't have that humility you know to recognize and acknowledge that you are a sinner that's when it's hard for you but the most I resist all right the pride pride comes in many layers many level yes there's level to pride you can be prideful without knowing a brother that don't acknowledge his sin is it's prideful it not a brother that don't accept rebuke from other brother brothers is prideful okay so he say repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing when the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the lord so that's what we're trying to do right now we're trying to please the most high when he sees that oh this guy came he was crawling right now he's now he's walking you know now he's walking and now he's, he's even doing some little jogging and, and sometimes he go he will run fast you know everything like that like there's an evolution okay there's an, an improvement that's what the most is looking at where is the improvement how far have you grown okay yes you know all the precepts yes you're out there preaching okay but have you grown that's the point yeah and the last verse that we're gonna read will explain that so i'm gonna uh quickly all right quickly uh go into the word repent the term repent and it says feel or express sincere regret or remorse about one's wrongdoing or sins okay and you give an example the padre okay padre which is like the you know the, the, the father or the pastor or the head the padre urge his listeners to repent okay so this gospel is about urging the, the Israel to repent okay and and and, and, and then another another you know so it's regret right regret your action right and another uh, 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 um, another definition of it is view or think of an action or omission with deep regret or remorse right an example Marion came to represent her hasty judgment to repent a uh, hasty judgment, so meaning she must have, she must, she must have like, re Marian has reacted without even thinking, and it's like, oh, sometimes we all do it, and it, like he came to herself, she's like, you know what, I'll repent from that, I'll go and say sorry, I did it, you know, I didn't suppose, I'm not supposed to do that, but now that he did it, I'm sure she would now think twice before she, she, she like, react hastily, or with haste, right? Now, the other one is feel regret or penitence about I repent me of all I did, all right? I repent me of all I did. So you have to repent from, you know, because you came into from the world. You had demons on you. And when you come in this truth, it's a very dangerous thing to cover your demons. If you came in this truth and you were, you know, an adulterer, you're trying to know, when you see someone's wife, you will leave her alone. If you're a liar, you try not to lie, you try to be more truthful. If you were pri proud, you try to be humble. And it must have make you go through some, you know, a humiliation ritual to kick out that, you know, pride from you and that you have to accept it. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you were a gossiper, you try not to gossip too much. You try to actually go to the person that you have, you have issue with and resolve it instead of talking on, on his back. Do you know what I'm saying? Thing like that. So we're trying to change. That's, that's the aim. You know, if you had sexual demon you're trying to get, you can't be in the truth and you pop in every woman that you see in the street. That means something is wrong with you. You know what I'm saying? Because you have to understand, when you pop these women, what happens is that you become one. So whatever spirit she has, jump on you. All right? And the spirit sometimes of bipolar, being bipolar, or uh, I'm not saying in all cases, but sometimes being bipolar and or uh, switching up or having mood swing is because you dealt with so many spirits through sexual, you know, through sexual mean, you deal with so many spirits that you're dealing with, because she put as much as a man put her spirit on a, on a woman, a woman can put her spirit on you as well. Many men, demons that she encountered through her sexual experience will come on you as well. So it's not even a wise thing, scientifically it's proven it's not even a wise thing to be putting your willy everywhere. It's not even good, you know? 
So you got to have to change that in this truth. We have to change that, you know? Um, so let's carry on. So now we will go to, um, to Romans. So I won't be long today. We'll go to Romans. Okay, Romans 2 and 13. Yeah, Romans 2 and 13. And it says this. For not the hearers of the law are justified before Yahweh, but the doers of the law shall be justified. All right? So it's not about just saying, oh, we're under grace and everything. Yes, we're under grace, but we have to rehearse the righteous acts, okay, for us to be justified. So for the most side, to, to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh, try to justify you, you got to be, um, uh, uh, they, they got to see a change and a growth. Not because then you speak well or you know all the precepts or you're out there or you do video every day, but actually what's you know your 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 inside how how is like where is the dead where is the old man is he dead or is he still alive and strong? Are you caressing him? Do you know what I'm saying? So you have, you have to be careful out here because he's serious. Because we know how 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 master is God is Yahweh. How master sees it all. Our master is not a human. You can fool human, but you cannot fool the most I am about Shemi Shai, okay? Right, so let me quickly define the term justified, right? So you say, having done for or marked by a, by a good or legitimate reason, okay? So you say the doctors were justified in treating him or in treating her. And the, the, the theology, you know, definition is declared or made righteous in the sight of Yahweh. Now, a sinner, if you live your life and sin, case, case in point, why will the two-third not be justified by Yahweh? Why would the just why would the two-third, you know, why won't the, the two-third be declared or made righteous in the sight of Yahweh? Because they didn't rehearse it. They didn't put no work in. They didn't put any effort in trying to be. They, they despise his law. Us now, we don't despise the law. We're not perfect, but we don't despise the law. And how? We don't despise the law. You don't despise the law, but acknowledge your sin. If you did something that's wrong, you need to acknowledge it. And it's not just to know that you sin, but it's to come out of that sin. That's it, man. All right? So if you cover your sin... People might not say anything because maybe they know that if they talk to you, it's to no avail. You, that won't change because you're stubborn. But at the end, it will work against you. And you will look foolish. You will look foolish, man. You, so that means you let your pride get the best of you. You let your pride treat you out of your blessings. And that's what Yahweh don't want for us. You know? So in order to be justified, you have to rehearse or practice the righteous act of Yahweh, and that's Judges 5 and 11. We can read it. You know the, the precept already. You know, we have to rehearse it, man. And there's a little, in fact, I'll read it. I'll read it. So, Judges, Judges 5 and 11. There's a little, a little, like, a uh, little revelation I had last time. So it's like, it says, they are they that are delivered from the noise of archer. We all know that what it is, you know, the destruction that's coming. But that's a prophetic, you know, precept. In the places of drawing water, our slavery, our current slavery, you know, our current captivity and servitude. They shall there, meaning here in England, in France, in America, all over the place, even in West Africa, in the Caribbean, wherever Esau got us. Because even in West Africa, we are under Esau. So it's the same thing, the same Babylon. They shall there rehearse the righteous act of the Lord. Rehearse, okay? To rehearse, all right? Repetition. Doing it over and over again so you can become perfect, okay? Let's say repetition is the mother of all skills. So if you repent, meaning you rehearse, meaning you repeat, you repeat, you do it over, over, over again, at some point you become strong to be able to resist whatever demon you have. That's the exercise, basically. All right, they say, even the righteous act toward the inhabitant of this village in Israel, talking about the village that represent the, the people of Israel, okay, so they say, then shall the people of the Lord 
go down through the gates. So that was a prophetic. Where's the gates? The 12 gates, man. You see, the 12 gates. Then the people of the Lord, meaning the people, in that sense, is the, the elect, those who are able to please Yahweh through the rehearsal, okay, will go down to the gates, which is the gate of the Malakwaf, the gate of the kingdom. See how powerful that thing, the, the Bible is nothing to be messed with, man. They only don't know. That's why they act like that. They don't know. That's why they say that the Bible is not. The Bible is deep, man. You know what I'm saying? It's coded. It's layer under layer, layer over layer. Okay? So, now, let's read um, Luke 19 and 27 quickly. Luke 19 and 27. Luke 19 and 27. And he says, But those mine enemies which would not that I should reign over them, bring either and slay them before me. So that has like it's a double fold. That's not about the other nation, but it talks about like Esau and, and them, Ishmael and Elah and all of those other nation, the heathens, the Hamite and them. But it talks as well as well about the rebels of the house. Because they're the one that don't want they killed him in Israel because they didn't want him to rule over them. You understand? And it's the same thing today. They go against him. All right. There was a situation. I mean, no, I mean a situation like a, a, a thing that was going on on Twitter where someone say, ask the question, I'm roughly paraphrasing, say something like, you know, what would you do if you saw, you know, Jesus or Yahweh Shai, yeah, Yahweh Shai being arrested by the police or whatever in our time? Man, you should read what, what, what Jake was talking about, man. Jake is, the, Jake is evil, man. Jake is, is, Jake is a dark serpent, you know. They didn't care, man. They were talking. They, there was so many things they were saying. I was like, wow, I couldn't believe it. So our people will be destroyed. So that's what he's talking about. But as well, talks about, he talks about those who are in the truth who do what they want. We see that, man. You got people, you know, do whatever they want, man. They don't want to follow protocol. This truth is about protocol, man. If you were in the world and you were living how you want it, it's going to be difficult because this truth now break your pride. Who are you? You're nothing in this truth. If you were a top guy in the world or you were ruling things, you were running things around you or you were faith, in this truth, you're nothing. <laughs> because the one that's faith is Yahweh Shai. Because guess what? Yahweh Shai can put you to death today. All he has to do is send a, a, a deaf angel and you're through. Okay? And you're done for. So you got to show humility and follow protocol. Sometimes it pains. Follow protocol, man. Do not fool yourself, man. If you don't repent from your sin, and you think that you can be in there justified, listen, you can give us word, by the, or I can give you word by the end of the day, am I repenting? Or do I, did I repent? Am I remorseful? Or do I, do I try to justify my sin? So, and that's the reason why I'm reading, I'm going to read the last verse, yeah? The last verse in Matthew 7 says this, man, and it's a beautiful precept, man. <laughs> it's, a, it's a beautiful precept, you know? It's a very beautiful precept, man. It's some, it sums it all, man. It sums, it sums it, you know, all up, you know? So it says, Not everyone that said unto me, Lord, all right? Not everyone that say unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, man. But we the ones saying Yahweh Shai, Kalayo, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. We the ones saying these things, man. You're not talking about a Christian, by the way. Because I don't even know the name. I'm talking about the people in the truth. So he say, not everyone that said unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven, man, have to do the will to rehearse, man, change your ways. We have to fight to change your ways. So if you're still in, that, in your sins, and you know deep down that you're still in your sins, but me because of, you see, you have to break out regardless, man. You have to pay the price, man. Okay? You have to pay the price. <laughs> it might be hard for you to come out of that sin, but come out of it, man, because it's going to destroy you. You know? And I'm talking about me as well. Like, remember, Hebrew 4 and 12. Every time a brother speaks here, yeah, just so that he's talking, he's talking about him as well, you know. Because <laughs> I have my demon too. 
In fact, I did this pre I did this lesson because of me. <laughs> and I'm not perfect. So I did that to encourage myself first. And hopefully it will encourage you. Alright? To change your ways. Okay? Verse, verse 22 says, Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, Yahushai, Yahushai, Adawan, Adawan, Yahushai, Yahushai. Have we not prophesied in that name? Isn't that what we're doing? Week in and week out. We go out there and preach the word, right? You see? He said, And in thy name have cast out devils. And there's many levels to casting out devils, man. Sometimes people come and they're bogged down, and the way you speak to them, the way you, you, you bring out the word, the way you present the word, it makes them understand. So that devil that was against the truth is now cast away for them now to embrace this truth. So it does. And then you go to the level where brothers very soon will be able to actually cast out devils, man. Go against Esau and spiritually cast out demons, man. They will go somewhere, there will be so many demons, they will, do, they will say something, they will pray, and then you will see manifestation of demonic, of the demonic realm, and then they will vanish. The power of the Holy Spirit, the Ruach HaKadosh. But you got to be able to check yourself, because like I always say, a, 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 a glass of, of, of a glass of water, right? That's, you know, if you put a glass, right? And it's dirty, you cannot drink. You cannot put clean water in that. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not wisdom. So since this truth de deals with logic, you got to clean your vessel. You got to fight to clean your vessel. It's a fight. It's a fight, my brothers. It's my brothers and my sisters. It is a fight. It's not easy, man. This is just like when you see them boxers go at it, have to wake up early, consistently do the work, train, train, and go over there, and a lot of them risk death, man. There's a lot of boxers that died. Or there's boxers after they finish the coma, they, they, they got so many heat in their head that they have, like the case of uh, Muhammad Ali, rest in peace. So this is the truth. We, but it just, it's a spiritual one and a, and a, and a, and a, and a mental one. So it's a fight. It's a fight. Okay, what you say, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works. You broke down the precepts so well, you know, you, you were good at breaking down, good at speaking, you know, good at, you know, brother, whether it's brotherly love or whatever, man. But you didn't repent. Yes, the, that's what will block people from entering the kingdom, in the fact that. There is no repentance. They did the work and everything, but as far as the, the, the sin that was the sita and sin, they didn't even, maybe by omission, but that's the thing as well. If a brother sees, because sometimes brothers don't know that they sin, so you have to tell them. If, if, if you tell them that they don't, they don't get it, boom. So what is the thing about, oh, you have to keep quiet. When you keep quiet, you're wise and that. Yes, but you have to understand what you read, man. You got to know how to apply the truth. You got to know how to apply precept. Okay, keeping keeping and don't say nothing. Okay, doesn't apply in seeing your brother in a situation and not say nothing. You we have to be wise in this thing, man. We need understanding. It's very important. Okay, verse twenty three c says, and then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Okay, so we gotta be able to please the most. Because we the vessel. All right, that's how I woke up today this morning, and I hope you were blessed. All right, Kalayam, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Waha, Rakhak, Wadash, Kwam, Yeshua, Shalom.